seven when the Russians shoot down a while back, and there's been a, a, a Korean, uh, I think North Korea took down uh, one or two also, but when they do that, they said that they did try, attempt to communicate. Now, the issue with the transponder and swapping the right codes and making sure you identify yourself as this particular flight would depend on many things. It would depend on the pilot, making sure they have the right codes in the airliner. It would depend upon the intercepting uh, uh, aircraft or, or radar being able to intercept that and know that it's a civilian jetliner, and they should have it. I mean, Russia has it. The Ukraine has right. it. But And if it was uh, a, uh, a military flight, and they were, uh, you know, up at altitude. They actually, uh, they shouldn't have been at the commercial jetliner altitude, but in conflict, people ignore the, the international laws, of course. Then it could have been a um, an air missile. It could have mm -hmm. been a heat-seeking missile as well. So it's difficult to tell, but a lot depends. You know, people don't understand how very important it is to have those identifier codes identifying your aircraft as a civilian aircraft. It's very, very important. So there may be similarities between the disappearance in terms of identification of the plane, et cetera, but at 32,000 feet, there's no reason to shoot down a civilian jetliner. It would be very right. difficult for it to do harm on the ground. 280 passengers were told, 15 crew reports that this Boeing 77, a Malaysia Airlines flight, crashed somewhere in eastern Ukraine near the Russian border. We do not know why at this point, simply no information about why this plane went down, only the reports from Interfax and Reuters that it in fact did. David Susi, I want to bring you back into this discussion. As we look at this map, we see the border between Ukraine and Russia, which has been in the news so much of late because of the hostilities there. Is that an area that a commercial airline should be flying over at all? You know, I, I wish that they had thought of that ahead of time, but yeah, there's a, there are routes there that they can fly. But the uh, the challenge is that when the when there's a conflict going on, there's no restricted routes. They're supposed to say, "Hey, these studies are safe; they can go through here without any problem." Now, uh, with regard to the you know being shot down or not, Mary's, Mary's point was good about the fact that it. it at that altitude, it shouldn't be involved in that conflict, and it should be a safe altitude to be at. And remember, too, that ground-to-air missiles really aren't designed for that high of an altitude. There's some very specialized ones that are, but in this particular conflict, it's not that sophisticated. These, you'd be looking at small 